Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. US equities sank as the US dollar hit a record high against the British pound, adding volatility to markets already concerned with inflation, rising interest rates and a possible recession. The S&P 500 notched a new closing low for 2022 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average slipped into a bear market as interest rates surged and turmoil rocked global currencies. The Dow dropped 1.1%, accelerating losses in the final moments of trading. The 30 stock index is down about 20% from its Jan 4 closing high. The S&P 500 declined a little bit more than 1%, falling below the June closing low. The Nasdaq fell 0.6%. The VIX, or the so-called fear index, was up 8%, reaching its highest point since the major indices sank in June. It appears the turmoil is continuing in the currency markets, with the Federal Reserve's aggressive hiking campaign, coupled with the UK's tax cuts announced last week, that has caused the US dollar to surge. As a result, the euro hit its lowest versus the dollar since 2002. While the British pound dropped to a record low on Monday against the US dollar, falling 4% at one point. The ramifications are that the surging greenback can hurt the profits of US multinationals and also wreak havoc on global trade, with roughly 40% of the world's transactions done in US dollars. Of course, commodities and energy are traded in US dollars. The risk now is that the US is exporting inflation, extinguishing some of its own via the stronger buying power of the US dollar, but adding inflation across the globe. Nowhere is this more visible than in the currency market. The most vulnerable nations face the biggest blowback, Poor countries often have no choice but to repay loans in dollars, no matter what the exchange rate was when they first borrowed the money. Spiralling US interest rates were what set off the catastrophic debt crisis in Latin America in the 1980s. As Morgan Stanley's chief U.S. equity strategist wrote in a note this morning, U.S. dollar strength has historically led to some kind of financial and or economic crisis. Across the sectors, growth held up better than value today, but analysts are now cutting their S&P 500 earnings estimates for the third and fourth quarters of 2022. With credit rating from Moody's changing its outlook for the global metals and mining industry from stable to negative as a global economic slowdown continues to soften demand, with copper and aluminium expected to be the worst hit commodities. On the currency front, one Australian dollar has weakened compared to the US dollar yesterday, buying 64.54 US cents. On the commodity front, iron ore futures are pointing to a 1% gain. The stronger US dollar is playing havoc on the commodity front outside of iron ore as gold lost 1.3%. Silver was down 2.3%, copper lost 1.5%, Oil lost 2.6% a barrel. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% gain on the ASX today. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great day.